Welcome back to my Let's Play of Mega Man Zero. This part, I'm gonna kind of try to fight as Tick Falcon. He's the hardest boss in the game. Yeah, real good job, Captain. But I was playing the Japanese version of this game, and I noticed that there was oil when we slash the robots, but they edited it out because they thought it looked like blood. And also, how to boost your lives. I did not mention this in the last part, but the way how you boost your health is there are certain nursing cyber health. I forgot their name. And I think I need to go. Yep, I did. Yeah, I actually just looked at it bad because I never could get that like this. Like that I'm gonna be covering later. But, first of all, rankings. Rankings depend on how much your time is, how much health you have, how many lives you lost, how many cyber elves you used or collected, I'm not sure which one. And how many up enemies you can There are some more too. I forgot what the ones are. Crap, I'm about to die. Oh yeah, just so you know, like in all Mega Man games, spikes will instantly kill you. I would go fight him, but I'm gonna go here. Die wall. Okay, I'm going to that. But yeah, there are three ways how you can dash. One of them is the R button. The other is the left button if you have it set it up to that control. And the other way is double tap. You may want to stay charged. This boss... I hate this boss. I think it's the fact that he has a timer that I hate him. But basically you want to dash jump off the wall. Do not go near him with this attack. I learned the hard way. And yes, I fixed the audio scene. Sometimes it's that, just to be in the This is my least favorite boss. There are, you can actually dodge those by dashing, but you have to time it just right. And you can actually jump over them, I figured that out with the Japanese I'm just going to kill them by slashing them. I'll explain what that chip does in a minute. Thunder chip, lightning chip, whatever. It's actually lightning chip. More electricity chip. One health. Wow. What ranking? B? Oh my god, that's the first time I ever got B on this.
51 damage, so I got no points. I didn't use any retries or cyber elves. Yes, it's using cyber elves, so I just remembered. No, go away. Escape units. Only use them in dire situations. If you get a failure mission, you instantly go back to F. You, know, you can't get any power-up skills. I may not get that many X skills in this, but first I'm going to show you something. These stars, those are how many ranks left for those weapons. Element, there are three main elements. Electricity can hurt fire, fire can hurt ice, and ice can hurt electricity. Th these are cyber elves, there are three different ones, I forgot what the middle one's called, but I know that the first one's nursing, hacker, animal. That's the second one. This guy I used to beat the final boss. Just so you know, the final boss in this game is a real dick. But anyway, these are different types of controls. You can have Type B, which switches the main weapon, custom, which you can rearrange. There's Type C, which switches weapons. I was going to do a run of that, but sometimes I got confused. And... I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I was to Again, I'm recording this on an emulator. And now, how you get elves. You go into Download Elves, press the A button. Now, if you hear a buzz noise, that means you can't get the how you remove, you just press the A button. And the feed, basically feed means you have to grow them up. Giver is one that you have to grow up. They have a required number of crystals, which I do not have enough for any of them yet. And down here is the lab. This guy, you'll need crystals later. How do you say his name? I always called him Server. But yeah, there. I heard that there's like a debate on the. Identity of Prairie and Mega Man CX because she may people believe that she's the girl in Mega Man Zero Two. Okay, what I'm doing right now is training to get my ranks up. You may, you can stop the video, but. If you stop it, then you won't know where I'll be going next. Just so you know, I'm going in the order of how you get the mission, so next I'm doing the train, I think. Oh god, no, not the train. Yep. Well, that cyber elf can be important. These things are really good for training with your weapons. Just me to do those Mavericks with like X. Free crystals.
when you're blinking like that, those are actually your invincibility frames. And there I go talking about frames. Actually, I haven't talked about frames. But yeah, when you have those um, invincibility frames, you can actually walk on spikes and people actually cheat in the game. Okay, rank up, up so now I can shoot four sh bullets at a time. I have no idea what that means. Does it mean I can shoot four bullets at a time or like literally I'm shooting four all at once? I don't see any change in my weapon. Yeah, with the Z-Saber I saw a major change. I can now do a combo. I always make this mistake right here. This is where the next part will take place. me or did they change Zero's after image in Mega Man Zero 2, 3, and 4? Back to the data room. That's exactly what I was talking about in the last video. Save. Destroy train- oh no, no. Well, in the next video we'll be-